You don't know when it's coming, and you, know, you obviously had a roll early, and you have to kind of make the most of each little opportunity. Yeah, I mean, uh, it is tough at times, but I mean, I've been doing it for five years now, so uh, I don't want to say I'm used to it, but yeah, at this point, I mean, I kind of it's almost expected, so I, I, I don't know what to do in order to keep myself ready. Did tonight even kind of not surprise, but impress you a little bit, and just the way you were able to knock off. You know, come right in and have that impact in the year. No, I mean, I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of. So it's just a matter of just going out there and doing it. Rebounding seems to be one of the biggest things that Mike is looking for from that position. How important is it for you to figure that one out, like right from the moment you step on the court? Yeah, I think it's really important. I think just collectively as a group, we need to do a better job of rebounding, especially when uh, Domas isn't in the game. Um, and that's something he's kind of been telling everybody, not just you know, to the bigs, but also trying to get the guards to come in and get more rebounds as well. Um, I think tonight we did a good job of that. We just need to keep, uh, keep doing it uh, together as a group. What was that conversation like with Mike? And did he kind of uh, express to you why you weren't, why you had gotten sad in the first place? Uh, a little bit, but I mean, we're just going to keep that between me and him. Did you, did you know you were going to be coming in tonight like that? Yeah. yeah. Um, can you explain your shoulder roll for celebration? Just a little, just a little something, man. Try to keep myself going. Please. <laughs> the, obviously, the crowd's obviously been really, really good, but uh, you know they kind of feed off of energy like that. Uh, did that kind of pump you up at all? Yeah, uh, the fans are always great. Um, you know, it's easy to go out there and play when uh, you know they're, they're behind you. Um, yeah, they were loud tonight, as always. Mike said you, you thought you might have taken your foot off the gas a little bit um, earlier in the season. Did, did you feel that? And and has have the last few weeks been been a learning experience at all for you? Like, so yeah, how? definitely learning experience. Um, I mean, I have, I've yet to play a full season, uh, so I'm just still trying to find my groove in terms of being able to just be consistent. Um, and yeah, he, he uh, mentioned that to me as well, and uh, I kind of felt that way a little bit, but I mean, obviously he, he uh, took me out of the rotation and you know he let me know, so and now I kind of know what to do. How did it feel to get your first defensive player of the game, Shane? Uh, it felt good, man. Shane was a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Um, might be there might be real uh, real diamonds in that joint, man. <laughs> Did you enjoy lighting the beam? Yeah, yeah, lighting the beam is always good, man. But I was kind of it's kind of weird, man, because the power been out. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how we had enough power to light the beam, man. So oh, my, somebody need to talk to Smud, man. <laughs> You did tweet that about Harrison. What, did Harrison have his power yeah. out lately? Yeah, Harrison's been complaining about his power being out. But uh, the way he played tonight, man, we might we might have had to keep it off. We might have to tell some others to just keep his lights off. So we'll see.